your health now. A minimally invasive surgical option for brain tumors and epilepsy is available at Cottage Health's Santa Barbara Neuroscience Institute. And News Channel reporter Mina Wahab joins us live in studio with a look at this laser focused technology. Mina? This is a monumental announcement for the region. Cottage Health Santa Barbara Neuroscience Institute is officially the first healthcare provider on the Central Coast to provide laser interstitial thermal therapy. This fills a huge need for the Central Coast community as patients are able to get the support they need locally and stay close to friends and family instead of having to drive hours to Los Angeles. Also called LIT for short, laser interstitial thermal therapy provides the benefits of traditional brain surgery with less risk and a shorter recovery time. Dr. Nicole Moyeri says this is a game changer for patients. They go home uh, the next day, they don't stay in the hospital for days, they don't have as big an incision to wait for that to heal, um, so they really have a much better sort of quality of life immediately after. The technique uses a small laser to destroy unhealthy brain tissue. Unlike traditional brain surgery, LIT does not require a large opening in the skull. The LIT, you shave a little bit of hair, you make a small incision, and then you insert the laser probe through the bolt. The MRI-guided method creates greater precision, helping lessen the chance of harm to nearby healthy brain tissue. Once the neurosurgeon puts the laser probe inside the tumor and the patient goes into the MRI scanner, the surgical team can observe exactly what's happening to the tumor. We can actually measure the temperature inside the tumor, and once it reaches a threshold, those cells will die. And, and you can see the outline of where those uh, tissues are dying. And so you can stop it, you can know exactly where you are anatomically, which is a big advantage. Because LIT kills unhealthy brain tissue instead of manually removing the cells, some neurosurgeons believe that it could potentially provide long-term benefits in terms of tumor recurrence. Your immune system will respond now to those antigens that are, are now uh, uh, taken up in that dead tissue and your immune system might go after the tumor cells in a different way than it would if you had actually physically removed that tumor. Too early to tell whether the response to treatment may actually be more effective than the traditional method, but the recovery time and risks involved are significantly more promising than that of traditional brain surgery. Live in studio, I'm News Channel reporter, Mina Wahab. All right, fascinating, thank you, Mina.